Aquarius, hi, welcome in to my channel, Sage Sunset Healing Tarot, and I'm here to present messages for you in love. So we're going to see what's coming up for Aquarius in love for this week. So we're going to be looking at you and dear person, and then looking at the energy between the two of you. We're, we're, we're looking overall on your energy, on your energy overall, and then glimpsing into your person's energy so we'll start by giving these cards a little shuffle here so it's all mixed up and ready to go shuffle. and then we'll start laying out your messages welcome in Aquarius if you haven't subscribed to my channel as yet please do so for future videos and like my video as well like my video thumbs up much appreciated aquarius we have the knight of cups for you some of you are feeling like going out making a love offering inviting someone somewhere wanting some emotional satisfaction or wanting to give that to someone you're moving in gracefully you're not taking your time you're trusting your emotion you're not taking your time to move but you're not moving fast you're really trusting your emotions to lead you to guide you forward I feel like you're, you have a lot of emotions for this situation and you're really wondering how it will pan out for you, but you're still going ahead. You really feel like you have an emotional connection to a person. It could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person could be dealing with their own situation. I feel like this this person is dealing with some things there they're not straight as if you want to go to them and make this love offering but they I feel like they're not ready because they have their own things their own issues in life dealing with things that they have manifested in their life this could be um, businesses that they're working on or relationships but they have to be I feel like your person is or the situation for this person is that they really have to be in a constant battle defending themselves even though they do have the upper hand here and they are victorious they are strong they are warrior like they can come out on top I feel like they're a bit distracted right now and it's kind of interfering with you wanting to make this move forward and maybe that's why you're not really there yet because they're not really focusing on you right now they're focusing on whatever issues that they have to deal with so I feel like you're hanging back a little bit hanging back wanting to move forward really searching seeking answers how do i move forward so i feel like you're definitely you're full of emotions and and love and affection for a person but and it's it's in your heart space in your emotion all over your emotional body but you, you it's like you have to be sitting back and waiting maybe you don't know how to move forward yet or what exactly to do i feel like you're definitely relaxing taking things easier Maybe in the past you would have rushed off to try and find out what's going on to get this person to, to see you. But I feel like you're taking it slow. See, because in the past you would have rushed in. Maybe this could be by text message or words or taking physical action, going to this person's location. Right, but I feel like you're just, you're moving away from such aggressive um, action and really trusting your emotions listening to guidance from around you too right being clear moving forward oh mm, my gosh oh my gosh what's going on i feel like there's there's an identity i feel like you're working through an identity that's because this is a devil card of toxicity of negative attachments I feel like the entire situation you could be wondering how how it got like this why it's so it feels like corrupted in this energy here like there's corruption and maybe that was in your past energy maybe that's what you're trying to move forward away from but you could definitely be moving in this energy of this toxic this toxic way of thinking and when I say toxic 
Aquarius I mean it's just not healthy for you I feel it is one track minded I feel yes your emotions are pulling you forward but why are you so emotionally engulfed it feels like you're in a trance you're being led by your emotions what you're it's not is it in your heart or is it just an emotion an emotional feeling I don't feel like you're using your logic either you're just wanting maybe you're just wanting to make this offer you're wanting to make this connection with this person but I feel like it's not in a healthy vibrational state maybe I feel like you're not thinking clearly okay and maybe this is your person's energy too like they are not they're not one that's healthy or right for you or the situation around you too needs to there needs to be some resolve because I feel like the way you're moving forward, you feel stuck as if you're in this tension, not knowing how to move, you know, not being able to get through because you are moving in a bit of a toxic vibe. And this is like attachment, negative attachments to another person, like negative soul ties. So you and this person could literally have a soul connection, Aquarius. But is it positive? Is it one that's going to lift you up or is it going to bring you down and keep you tethered? To another person for a long time and it's going to probably probably drain your energy and take away from you strip you of all that you have worked hard for sometimes we do have to go through our own experiences i feel like this is the overall energy that you're feeling like this this attachment to this person a very emotional attachment i don't know what they did to you girl or boy or man woman i'm sorry it's like this attachment hovering over you it feels like alcohol maybe you met this person drinking i feel like this person awakened something in you it feels like a dependency like you lean on this you depend on this person to fulfill certain certain aspects of your life emotionally like they satisfy you and that's and that's what drives you forward to go toward them but is it deeper than that we'll see well I feel like you're moving into a transformation amazing I love it because the devil energy is here but I feel like you're moving you're moving out of it like so I feel like you're definitely going to leave that behind and the devil the toxic energy was also abrasiveness and destructiveness that you're walking away from now this could be walking away from a relationship that wasn't serving you this relationship may have been with a water sign Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or oh, I mentioned a, a fire sign earlier. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like you're moving into clearance out of this. Because remember, I was the energy feels like so tense, and I feel like you're move, like you're bursting through that tense energy and going out toward more, a more fulfilling connection. Well, we have the Queen of Cups here. You're very nurturing. I feel like what you're looking for is a family, someone that can hold you emotionally. But you're very intuitive as well, intelligent, wise. You could be a leader, you could have your business set up already. I feel like you're definitely just ready and waiting. Now this could be you, Aquarius, that an offering is coming into. I feel like you're moving, your energy is changing, you're becoming more mature, you're seeing what it is that you want out of this life. You know that you want a family, you know you want to, your life to be running smoothly. So this is how you're feeling right now. I feel like you're looking and expecting for something to come into you. You can feel it. You're very intuitive here, even with the hangman card, that is the card of Pisces, intuition, deep-seated emotions. Yes, I feel like you're very prophetic, very intuitive as well. And I feel like that's what's going to pull you out of this toxic vibration and pull you into, bring you into more clarity, like, ha. Ah, with the magician energy here the queen of cups energy i don't feel like you are a toxic person but i feel like maybe your past was just that energy or you feel that way and you're looking to figure out how to come out of it you could already be a mom have children maybe you live alone you're a single mother some of you and do you want a connection but I feel like you're definitely being, oh my God, you're definitely going to be more patient. Look at this. And then when you become patient, there's an offering coming into, 
and this could be from a water sign i feel like a water sign can the pisces or scorpio is really looking out for you so I feel like soon there will be an offer coming into you. It's coming into it's coming into you close. So it could be coming into your home or your work environment. Someone is like approaching you, making a commitment to you. And this could be from a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is a commitment of vow to love one another, to be there, to support each other, to hold each other up. A promise. Now this could be you between you and yourself, Aquarius. But this is also another person's energy and i feel like once you leave certain rage or toxic behaviors behind and i keep saying toxic and i know it doesn't sound pleasant but we all have these toxic connections right that we live through certain identities belief patterns even that just aren't serving us that's what the devil energy represents so i think you're moving out of of that and i feel like once you do come into this set of place this feeling of lightness a transformation there's a love offering coming into you mm, i feel like you fear you fear being hurt maybe you've been hurt before or left before alone and possibly that's if you are a single mother that is why maybe this love connection that's coming to you you're not completely trusting it maybe some of you are missing someone that you love that um made a promise to you in the past and they're not here anymore and you're missing this person up at night sleepless tormented but i feel like something is going to come to an end soon this is your this is your fear yes but i do feel like you're going through it well you want to manifest something different so i feel like just focus aquarius on what it is that you want instead of what you don't want and we're gonna ask for clarifying card for that nine soon oh my god so the outcome is definitely the judgment card a renewal and that's what i've been feeling look at the devil card and the judgment card so i feel like you're moving out of this tense energy of wanting like that energy of wanting something so bad that you just can't have it as with the law of attraction right but it is when you release because i feel breaking through that resistance of wanting something so bad that it causes tension within your energy right and so even things that have you have no control over they keep themselves away from you because it's like you're keeping away it away from yourself because you're being so tense about it but when you break through with this magician energy that's coming up for you soon there's going to be a breakthrough a realization that you have the power to transform any situation then the judgment comes it is clear it is renewal it is ease transformation authenticity divinity alignment healing too mm -hmm. getting what it is that you want clarify the magician card please clarify the magician for aquarius is reading in love what is the magician oh oh magician energy clarification Okay, so we have marriage. This because the Hierophant is marriage. It's tradition. It's like a traditional setting where you want your relationship. You want your picket fence. You know, you want all of that. You want the green grass and everything. Just that traditional life to build with someone. And that's what I was saying with the Queen of Cups energy here. Like this is what you're looking for to really settle down with a person could be beautiful for you and we do see an offering coming through in the near future so that could be marriage we have a brand new beginning for the magician card the ten of pentacles a new begin a new spark a new life something brand new coming into you you changing the outcome of your situation aligning with the best for you that's what i'm getting with the magician card so something bright you're going to move into a brand new beginning uh, maybe moving out because we have the eight of swords on the bottom so maybe you do feel trapped from time to time stuck in your head stuck in your energy maybe that's the toxic devilish energy here of feeling trapped trapped in one mode of operation not knowing how to move forward you know not knowing which foot to put where not knowing how to put your foot forward 
just not having that clarity and so I feel like you're going to break that spell 100% with a magician card breaking that spell starting a new beginning and yes dreaming up the life that you want probably bringing this person into you clarify the hair of fans card please who or what is the hair of fans is it a person a situation a job a business a business it's a business it's a job hmm. I feel like you're going to move out of confusion with this situation. You're going to be focusing your intentions, your attention differently. Oh my. So the hair so we just clarified the hierophant. And we said that the hierophant is a card of marriage. And then we have the four of wands, which is the card of wedding, of union, of celebration, having something of matrimony, of something to be celebrated. So looking forward to that wedding. It's that brand new beginning. I feel like you're going to get what it is that you want it's we have the knight of pentacles it's not moving in fast so this could be a promise of love and offering a proposal this could just be you being of service starting a new business for some of you but i feel like you're definitely going to be successful things are coming through for you they may be taking their time to i feel like it has to be there's internal work that is being done especially with the magician card it's internal work while even blocking and standing up for yourself but I feel like it's all pending out clarify the nine of the eight of swords clarify the nine of swords it clarifies in it because um nine of swords so maybe that's why you feel sad because you felt trapped Maybe you're afraid of feeling this feeling again of not knowing how to move forward but I want to say trust in your heart you have to learn how to trust in your heart get to know your heart space this person is spending time with themselves see the, their hands over their chest here spending time feeling the rhythm of your heart the rhythm of your heart will kind of direct your feet forward that's why they say follow your heart and these are two cups these are two hearts following your heart Aquarius forward I feel like that will get you out of feeling trapped let's clarify the judgment card what is the ultimate outcome here for Aquarius clarify the judgment card please clarify the judgment card hmm. I feel oh I feel like you're going to be relaxing because like remember we were saying that you went through a lot of tension especially with the devil energy there's something relaxing coming through maybe you're not fighting anymore struggling realizing that you do have what it takes especially internally i feel like you are being guided and you're moving forward you're trusting in yourself i feel like you're definitely going to find your sense of value your sense of worth you're going to get what it is that you want a promise i feel like you're going to get your promise fulfilled something is ending you could be walking away from earth sign taurus virgo capricorn maybe a relationship has ended something and it could be this attachment because this can be seen as a negative attachment with two people represented in the devil card two people like negatively attached to each other codependency not that these two people are bad people but it's just the attachment between them the way they relate to each other is not healthy it could be a lack of communication of clear communication of affection of intimacy so i feel like that is over moving into the new for you so you're going to be able to really relax i feel like you're getting this came out the three of swords and um, I feel like you're going to be really developing your sense of self, what it is that is good for you. We did see the Four of Cups earlier, and that's you sitting in your heart space, really healing, asking your heart, what's up? Talk to me. Healing, taking things, fo um, taking things a step forward. They're going to be brand new beginnings for you. So this is also you healing and talking with your heart space, your intuition. All right, Aquarius, that's been your reading. Thank you so much for being here. And I do hope you found messages here that resonates with you. If you did, 
um give my video a thumbs up thank you so much and why not um subscribe to my channel for future uploads i really appreciate it so thank you so much aquarius and i'll see you next time until then remember that all is within you you are all so dream big much love bye